Welcome to Emergency Insights. I'm your host, James Carter. Today, we're looking into the complex world of myocardial infarction, or MI, and myocardial injury. Understanding the nuances here is vital for accurate diagnosis and effective patient management. Let's break down the different types of myocardial infarction. A myocardial infarction is always the result of ischemia, which leads to myocardial injury. But what causes that ischemia? That's the key to the classification. First up, we have type 1 MI. This is what most people think of as a classic heart attack. It's caused by a primary coronary event, typically a plaque rupture, erosion, or dissection in a coronary artery. This event leads to a complete or partial blockage, causing a significant reduction in blood flow. Think of it as an acute, sudden event originating from the coronary artery itself. Next is type 2 MI. This type is about a supply and demand imbalance. Here, there's no acute plaque rupture. The ischemia is secondary to a condition that either increases the heart's oxygen demand or reduces the oxygen supply. We see this in patients with severe anemia, tachyarrhythmias, or uncontrolled hypertension, where the heart is working so hard it outstrips its available oxygen, even with a patent coronary artery. It's a key distinction. The coronary artery itself isn't the primary problem. Then there's type 3 MI, which is a diagnosis of exclusion in cases of sudden cardiac death. This applies when a patient experiences symptoms suggestive of myocardial ischemia, but dies before blood work can confirm an MI or before a definitive diagnosis can be made. It's often presumed to be a fatal arrhythmia triggered by acute coronary syndrome. We also classify MIs related to specific medical procedures. Type 4 MI is directly linked to percutaneous coronary intervention, or PCI, and is further subdivided. Type 4A is associated with the PCI procedure itself, while Type 4B is due to stent thrombosis. Similarly, Type 5 MI occurs during or immediately after coronary artery bypass grafting, or CABG. These are iatrogenic MIs, a consequence of the very interventions we use to treat coronary disease. Now let's distinguish all of this from myocardial injury. This is a crucial concept. Myocardial injury is defined simply by a rise or fall in cardiac troponin, but it does not meet the criteria for myocardial infarction. The elevated troponin isn't necessarily due to ischemia. Conditions like sepsis, myocarditis, or renal failure can all cause myocardial injury without a coronary event. It's an important distinction to make because myocardial injury doesn't always require the same emergent cardiac intervention as an MI. To put it simply, myocardial infarction is myocardial injury that's caused by ischemia. Myocardial injury is just elevated troponin, and it could be from a variety of causes, not all of them ischemic. This classification system helps us move beyond just elevated troponin and toward a precise diagnosis, guiding our treatment plans and ensuring we're addressing the root cause of the patient's condition. That's all the time we have for today. Thank you for listening, and we'll see you next time on Emergency Insights.